What's going on guys? Right now I'm trying to make some more progress on the shopping go-kart. So earlier today I got this uh, switch panel made up. It's still in the works, but I got a new push to start button. So this will crank the motor once I get it wired in. I got my key uh, mounted as well. So this is just the power on and off. And then I have two uh, big spaces ready in case I ever do put that little turbo on it in the future. So I'll have a spot for a boost gauge and an air fuel gauge and then I have some spots on the bottom in case I need to add some switches for other things later on but for right now I mainly just need this push to start button and the on off key and what I'm doing right now is trying to get it mounted up so how I'm going to do that is I got these two little tabs cut up and I'm going to be welding them right onto the front of the cart right here I'm going to weld one right there and then another probably about right here however wide this uh, switch panel is then I'm going to drill some holes through those and then drill holes through the top of the panel and then I will just bolt this right there and then the switch panel will sit right in the front of the cart like that and it should look pretty sick when it's all done and then I just got to run the wiring for everything but yeah get the ideal it'll, it'll kind of look just like that sitting in there I got plenty of leg room with it right there and everything is still easy to access so I'm gonna get these tabs welded on right now and then get the holes drilled through them and then get this switch panel mounted up. So I got the switch panel mounted up. Right now I just have two 10 millimeter bolts with nuts on the backside holding it. I was gonna use some thicker bolts, but I think those are gonna work just fine. Uh, right now it's tightened down pretty tight and it is very sturdy, not flimsy at all like I thought it might be. I thought I was going to have to add some extra uh, like supports underneath it or something, but that is solid and the tabs are fully welded on, at least on top, not on bottom, but that's all they should need. And right now I'm working on extending the wires to the key switch right here. So I need to extend the wires all the way to the back so that I can use this switch. And I did just get the push to start button wired up right now the ground for it is just like an alligator clip but that's really easy to finish up later but I do have it working so if I push it out there it goes turns the motor over it hesitated for a second because this ground is pretty shitty but uh yeah that works great and it's obviously not going to start because I don't have the key hooked up yet so once I extend the wires to the key switch I'll be able to switch the ignition on through the panel and then once I turn it over, it will fire up. So I do have some wire over here, got some green and red and some black wire somewhere to match the colors of the existing wires on this switch right here. So I'm just gonna cut all these off right after or in between the plug right here and extend those and keep the plug on the same end so then I can plug it right back into here. So yeah, I'm gonna get to extending those wires and get the key switch working. I got the wires all extended going to the key switch. Right now I just have them all zip tied together, makes them look a lot nicer and they're not all spread out everywhere. So I do have it hooked up and not sure if the battery is gonna turn it over very fast right now, it's getting kind of weak, but if I turn it to on and hit the start button. Fires right up. Then flip the key, turns right off, just like it should. I will be cleaning up the wiring in the future as well. Uh, like I said in the old video, I did want to try to run the wires through the tube right here on the chassis, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that just because now it has the plug on the end after I already soldered everything, so I'd have to cut it off 
and run all the wires through and then resolder it on and then it would just like never be able to come out unless I kept cutting that plug off and it would be kind of a pain but for now I'm probably just going to zip tie all the wires in the corner of the cart right here and just get them as clean as I can probably run them under my gas pedal and then just have it come up right to here to the switch panel but I'm happy with the wiring right now I also do need to get this uh, rectifier hooked up that's what it was called you guys corrected me in the comments because I forgot what it was called so this is pretty much what will charge the battery when the motor's running because right now if I were to have the battery hooked up and drive it around with how I have it wired it's just going to drain the battery and not charge it at all while it's running so all I got to do to wire that in is it has let me see which plug is it right here it has four wires going to that plug has a pink green yellow and red the red will go to positive, the green will go to ground, and then the pink and yellow will go to these two pink and yellow wires coming off the stator uh, according to a wiring diagram online. So that seems pretty straightforward. That should be easy to wire in, and then I will be able to charge the battery when it's actually driving around. And then I just got to go through and kind of clean up this little mess of wiring, get it all zip tied and tucked out of the way, and it should look pretty good when it's all done but I also need to get some thick wires to run the ground to the chassis and then a thick positive wire to run that to the uh, starter solenoid so I don't have to keep using these jumper cables to hook up the battery and then I'll be all set then get everything back together and probably go have some fun with it how it is and then I do plan on putting that little turbo on it eventually but I just want to get it solid with just how it is right now before I start messing with any of that stuff but uh, yeah, I'm happy with the progress I've made on it so far. So I just did an oil change on the hatch. Everything looks good. There was pretty much no metal shavings at all in the oil. I even cut open the oil filter and that all looked great. And we did just take it for a spin and I just got back and it does need a little more after everything like cycled through the oil lines and stuff. But the oil's looking good on the hatch and I also went back to the Schaefer's. I was running just like that shitty Walmart brand 2050 for now because that's all I had to break it in. But it's back on the Schaefer's 2850 oil and seems like it's running good. Do you enjoy the ride? It was fucking crazy. <laughs> Show his reaction in a, in a different video. Oh, what's this kid doing? What are you doing? one of them freaking rice rockets, boy? Yeah, looks like it looks, it looks like a, you got one of them too on your um, behind the Chevy. That ain't me. I never owned one of them jack crap piece of junk. <laughs> Just taking it to the junkyard, huh? Yeah. It's all, all it's good for. It's scrap yard. It's all that piece of crap is. It's junk. It's crap metal. <laughs> yeah, so we're, uh, tomorrow's a uh, test and tune also. So we're going to be taking the cars to the track. Well, that's going to be coming in the Integra, and I'm going to try to bring the hatch. Hopefully, I don't break it. And I guess we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll run a better time than the 11.5, but I honestly don't think I will because I'm, I'm on these radials. Yeah, Wyatt wants to go to, he wants to go 11s. That'd be nice. But I mean, if you went faster than me, I'd honestly be genuinely, like, upset. Like, <laughs> whatever. I wouldn't be that upset. It'd be funny if you did, honestly. All I know is you ain't going to trap 140, though. Whatever. You don't know that. But if you get that eighth mile down, you can definitely run 11.5 for sure. If you can, can go, you can go that, just as fast as the hatch. That 2.5, 60 foot. Yeah, same. Trash. I cannot break a sub 2 second 60 foot on these tires. But I'm going to try tomorrow. So, get ready for that, see if we'll break the cars. I was going to bring the MR2 because I got the shifter cable fixed, but I figured you guys would rather see the hatch. And I convinced him to take it. Yeah, actually it was why. He's like, you should just take the hatch, and I was like, yeah, I probably should. I got the trailer, so if one of us snaps an axle. Yeah, as long as one of the cars is still running, we'll be good, because we do have a trailer. Wyatt has a trailer. <laughs> you should check this thing out, it's pretty dope. Yeah. It's alright. It's fucking yeah. sick. It's alright. It's, it's actually fast, too. Let's see, is this thing focused? Show them. It's not too, too bad. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I'm focused yet. Oh, South Bend clutch, I know that. I put a lot of them in distals. No, just wait, do it. <laughs> do the thing. Hold it back. Hey. <laughs> so sick. <laughs> it's so sick. It's on full airlift suspension. I even said in a video a while ago, or it was like a live stream or something, I said I didn't really like Volkswagens, but this one's pretty dope. They're all right. And what's that, what does it have done to it? Uh, it's got a GTX 3071. Uh, it's got port injection, Wabo 450. Uh, it's got upgraded fuel lines and so 
clutch and full bolt on. All yeah, and it shit. doesn't have eight injectors too. Yeah, it has it's got direct two injectors. sets of injectors. Yeah, it makes like 500, so it's pretty quick. Which is crazy though, because he like he rides in my cars and he acts like he's never been in a fast he's car. Like so, he do, he dude, I've never dude, been he in the freaks out in like luxury. Yeah, because you hear all like the fucking rattling right. and the exhaust, and right. it just makes you feel like you're gonna fucking die, dude. <laughs> Dude, this, I took him. Can't even right. hear it. I pulled the wagon out for the first time in like a couple months, and I took him in it, dude. Oh, he was like holding my shoulder, like flipping out. Sick, dude. Yeah, that was good though. Awesome. I needed to get the wagon out. Yeah, that thing felt nice, dude. Yeah, and then the MR2, he's like, oh, like holy <laughs> shit. And then today in the hatch, just. Well, dude, that's what it is. Man. Dude, he didn't even know what to do with his arms in the hatch. He's like, but like in his seat all. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah, it just feels different. Really. Yeah, this is just like way more. Cause you can't hear anything. It's so right. quiet inside. You got the AC on, and right. you just hit it a little bit, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, this thing's hella refined. Yeah, it it's smooth, it's just like, a smooth like, pull, <laughs> and then the Honda is just like rah, da, 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 just violent. Die, dude. It's awesome. I feel like a bolt's about to fall out at any moment. Yeah, it feels wild. But yeah, we're gonna be installing what is it again? Like a transmission mount? Yeah, it's the dog bone mount, the one that hooks the transmission to the body. Yeah, so we're gonna do that real quick. Help hold down all that torque. Yes, sir. And he just got some M and H's on the way. Yep. That's gonna be crazy. A bagged, a bagged Volkswagen on a drag radial. That's what I was going for, dude. Like a drag stance. That'd be sick as fuck. Not that fucking tire stretch bullshit. Come on, join the club. Man. Took a little chunk out of his lip right here. That slammed life. It adds to it. Damn. Oh, oh, oh! I almost oh, just, man. I almost just took out another chunk. My bad. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's sick. That's a pretty good sized turbo. Yeah, it's pretty nice. This pulls up pretty quick too. To be completely honest, I don't really like this whole, that looks very complicated to yeah, me. Yeah, dude, it's right. a fucking, it's a nightmare to eat. Hondata. Oh, we could throw a fucking 2000 wiring harness on a 91 motor. Yeah, Hondas are just Train Legos. Off of this car. Just fucking piece of right. leather, dude. Yeah, it's fucking sick though. Yeah, that hose was the one that fucking blew off of it. The one that hooks the inlet right onto it. Charge point that shit blew off, and there was a motherfucker to get back. Oh, yeah, it was a fucking pain. Oh, yeah, and this is Junior, by the way. We met at a car meet a few weeks ago, yeah, a couple weeks ago. Like yeah, we were all about to head up to a meet, and it started raining. And then we ended up just cruising, cruising around, and back. yep, just chilled, hung out. Yeah, I do like the plaid interior they have too. That is pretty sick. Watch the door. It is. Oh, I'm good. Fuck. It's high enough. This guy. What? The window. You oh, you can. You down. just rolled it down with the key. <laughs> Damn, that's that's too fancy for us. You know what? My three dollar, my three hundred dollar shit box. Oh yeah. It adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think it's sick. You need to get a key or a remote for the bags. Oh, I can. I can do it for my phone. Can you? Yes. Oh, there's an app for it, huh? Fucking guy. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so sick. Yeah, when we were talking, it'd be so dope to put bags on my Wago. Right. Dude, I think he should do it. I think it would look pretty, especially how it sits with right. the wheels it has on that. Just slammed on its nuts. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should I put bags on the wagon? I'm going to hit up Airlift and see if they make a kit or find someone that makes an EF kit. That'd be so sick. And I'm also going to be doing work on that pretty soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Oh, shit. He has the app. Oh, shit. It's going to make me update it. Oh, oh, I gotta shit. update it. I haven't used it in a while because I don't go to many shows or anything, so. Yeah, I don't know anything about the stance life other than my wagon slammed on eBay coils. That's about it. I got them eBay knockoff coils too, dog. What up? Look at the stance. Damn. Those are not the sleeve ones, are they? <laughs> they Look are. at that, oh, dude. Man, so dude. bad. Jesus Christ. That's what came on it. That's what <laughs> I love. Jesus How many Christ. shoes do you think you could fit in between your fender right there? Fucking all of them. <laughs> you got a big gap for a big tire, though. It looks so goofy with the drag radial. Dude, just like looking at that thing, you would back. not, just look at this. You would not expect that to be 550 horsepower Dude, I told at him all. When we, were, when we were coming <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, when we were coming out. I was like, I thought he was taking that thing to the junkyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, that. it's so awesome though. So it turns out we can't work on this thing today. What'd you forget? My fucking triple square My Like sockets. special Volkswagen key. Yeah. So, it fucking sucks, man. We'll just have to do it another day. Yeah, dude, I'll probably, if you want, dude, I, we can, oh, you're going to be at testing too. Yeah, we'll be at Bandemir tomorrow then. Okay. Yeah, dude, can probably do it Thursday or yeah, Thursday, over down, the weekend, dude. whatever. I'm down, man. Yeah, that's sweet. Cool, See ya. Hey. I'm still loving how this switch panel is coming along. Ever since I got the push to start button, 
wired in, I have been trying to resist the urge to fire this thing up like every five minutes because it's just so sick to push to start it. So sick, but I did have to tape down the uh, key switch because it started coming loose and when I turn it like on and off, it just starts spinning the whole thing inside of there. So I'm gonna have to like find a new way to mount that or like glue it down or something, but it works like that for now. I'm just really stoked how that came out. Oh yeah, that's happening. So I've decided to upgrade turbos. So you know, just the same one that's on the hatch. No big deal. Dude, it actually spins that thing like really <laughs> fast. I don't even know how it does that. Uh, dude, do not put your fucking hand in there. You it's... ever seen the dude put his fucking hand in the super turbo, lost his finger? Well, I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Alright, fire it up. I want to shoot more flames. No, it, it got caught on the fin. Oh. Holy so shit, that's loud. You should have put the big one on. Yeah, it probably would have sucked it in. Shoots cool flames though. And don't worry guys, this turbo is shot. It's just for mock-up. So like the bearings are pretty blown, so that's why we don't really care about it at all. That's fucking funny though. And for those of you telling me I need to put a vent in the gas can, I did just drill a hole through the cap, so that will let air come in and let the gas drain properly into the carburetor. So I did actually know I needed to do that, I just didn't mention it. I forgot to talk about that because actually a long time ago, I used to have a like little grenade, uh, it was a valve, a valve cap and it was like in the shape of a grenade and I had it on this little tube right here on my pit bike and I actually made it like a couple miles from my house and all of a sudden it just died because it started to create a vacuum in the gas tank and then right when I popped that off, uh, solved all my issues. So I learned from a long time ago that you need to have some sort of vent on the top of the gas tank or else it's just gonna create a vacuum in there and not let the gas flow all the way down into the motor. Well, that was fun, but I'm obviously not gonna be putting this turbo on the shopping cart. It is way too big. That is for a car, not a little ATV motor. But I do plan on putting that little tiny turbo on it eventually, but I still gotta get the thing running NA first. So still has a little ways to go, but I have been working on this thing a lot in the last couple days and I'm getting pretty close to finishing it up. I still need to order the brakes, I keep saying that, but I should be ordering those very soon and then just finish everything else up and I need to add a couple supports here and there and get everything else fully welded, but it, it is getting there. So 
that's pretty much all I've been doing the last couple of days. I did get the oil changed in the hatch as well. I recently just put over a thousand miles on it. I've been driving it a lot lately and the hatch is doing great. So feels awesome. And you can definitely tell it's slower than when it was at the 711 horsepower, but it's still plenty for the street. Like I said, these tires do really good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna try to take it to the track tomorrow. I'm gonna meet up with Wyatt hopefully and then we'll see how it does at the track. Hopefully I don't break any axles or anything like that, but we will have a trailer, I guess, in case it does break. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for tonight, guys. So thanks for watching.